As a woman, it is important for me to have a president who represents my values and my rights. It's very important that women have a voice in this election. Every vote counts. Every voice counts. Women will help decide this election. If we understand our power, we can move forward. I find such a champion in President Obama, and which is why I passionately support him, specifically because I'm a woman. He also has the story that I can tell my daughter because it shows that no matter where you start out, you can work hard and you can do whatever you put your mind to. It's a story that touches me and one that's very familiar to me with how I was raised, you know, and our mom was a single parent. She had spectacular dreams for herself and us girls. When I hear him speak about her, his girls, I know that what he's thinking of is not just the future of this country, but the future of all young women. In the three and a half years he's been in office, women truly have come first. Unfortunately, I think in this election, there's a strong contrast between the positions of, of this president, who believes in women, who trusts women to make responsible decisions, uh, and frankly, the Republican Party leadership, who seems to want to take away the right and put government in between women uh, and their doctors. I'm a woman, but I don't expect any special treatment for being a woman. What I do expect is the same treatment as a man has. It feels like we're in a different era. I mean, an era that I have never known in my lifetime that uh, is challenging and trying to dismantle every gain that women, um, that women's rights uh, have accomplished over the last 30, 40, 50 years. I'm really struck that Romney would not commit to whether or not he would have voted to support Lilly Ledbetter Act. I'm struck that he won't commit to supporting the Violence Against Women Act. It's unbelievable to hear uh, a Republican nominee, Mitt Romney, say, Roe v. Wade, yeah, I would overturn that. Planned Parenthood, no, get rid of it. I mean, with you know, such a cavalier attitude towards our rights. We could lose some of these rights that I know uh, I, being born in 1960, take for granted. You know, I was brought up with abortion being legal. I was brought up knowing that there was a Planned Parenthood where I could go and get screenings. How am I supposed to present that to my children where I say, like, you know, my daughter's going to have, may, under a Republican administration, have a different set of opportunities and obstacles than my son. I feel safer knowing that my president understands the value of women's rights. You can't, I mean, there's there's no way to say that this is a president who, who doesn't believe in women and in women's empowerment. Well, I grew up with a strong, hardworking mom and dad and two brilliant sisters. I learned that from an early age that when women come together, there's nothing that we can't do. We will decide this election. Really, it's a question of whether we vote or not. It's that simple. We've got to get out there. We have to make sure that this man stays in office. It's not just about supporting the president because I want to see him reelected. I'm standing up for the future of my daughter, the future I want her to see. President Obama is the only choice to help us move forward.